Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to disable the driver signature enforcement on Windows 11. Although it is recommended to check the integrity and publisher of any driver to prevent potential system instability and security risks, you might find yourself on a scenario where you might need to install unsigned drivers for different reasons. For instance, you may need to install an older driver version, which is actually from a trusted source, or you might actually have to test a custom driver, which is unsigned. Whatever the reason, Windows allows you to disable the signature enforcement in multiple ways. So let's dive into it. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. You can also visit my website for more tutorials and related tech news. Okay, the first method is going to apply to Windows Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. However, if you're using encryption, you will have to enter the recovery key during startup. So I do recommend you to disable BitLocker before proceeding. And you can quickly do this by opening start and looking for settings. And then on press and security, try encryption, make sure to disable the option. And then to start the process to disable signature enforcement on Windows 11, do this. Open start for settings. Then we're going to go to system. Then we're going to go to recovery. And then we're going to click the restart button for advanced startup. Then click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then click on startup settings. And from here, click the restart button. Now to disable the driver signature enforcement, press seven to select the option or press F7 on the keyboard. Now the computer will reboot and then the system will be available without signature enforcement and you will be able to install that unsigned driver on your computer. After installing the driver, during the next reboot, the driver signature enforcement will be enabled automatically and you will need to repeat the steps to install another driver if it is unsigned. Now, this method only applies for Windows 11 Pro and higher releases because we're going to use the group policy editor, which is not available on the home edition of Windows. So to start, open the start menu and look for the group policy editor and open the app. Then we're going to select user configuration and then we're going to open administrative templates and then we're going to open the system folder. And from here, we're going to select driver installation and we're going to right click on co-signing for driver packages and select the edit button. Now in here, we're going to select the enable option and then you want to choose the ignore option. Click apply, click OK, and then restart the computer. And then you will be able to install unsigned drivers on your computer. Now, when you no longer need to install drivers with this method, you can undo the changes by opening the group policy editor and then right click on the policy, choose the edit option, and then choose the not configure option. Then click apply, click OK, and restart the computer. Now, it is important to know that you can use some commands that should, in theory, disable the driver signature enforcement on Windows 11 to install unsigned drivers. However, there is a conflict with the secure boot on Windows, so those commands will not work. So just to show you what I mean, this is one of the commands that you can use, but as you run the command, you can see that we have an error because of secure boot. And the same is true if we use this command that is also known to disable the enforcement. So like if you're actually running Windows 10, this might work if you're not using secure boot, but on Windows 11, it's best to use the option from the Windows recovery environment or using the group policy option. And remember that the group policy option is only available for Windows 11 Pro. And that's it. Those are the two ways that you can disable the driver signature enforcement on Windows 11, but always make sure that you're installing drivers from trusted sources. Now, let me know in the comments which method you use. Also like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.